V and I are going to just give you a few little tips on how a suit should fit, and when you're buying one for the holidays coming up, definitely keep these things in mind. V and C's, suit secrets. Point number one, fit. The fit is everything, really. Like, really? You don't buy an expensive suit and not get it tailored. Buy a cheaper suit and get it tailored. I can't find anything that fits off the rack, so I've gone to Indochino and they've uh, done a made-to-measure solution. If you're buying off the rack, what would you say the number one thing that you can't alter is? So the shoulder is something that we can't really alter, so when you put on a suit, make sure that it's comfortable for you for the shoulders and everything else the damage is that good. So shirt to your bottom of your thumb, sleeve length of your suit to your anatomic snuff box. This little curve part here. You go custom and you know your sleeve length. They can just make it to the right length and they can make functional butt holes, surgeon cuffs if you will. And it's really good for rolling your sleeves up. And tailors can fix arms too. If you don't want too much extra fabrics anywhere really. They can check the arm within and they can obviously change the sleeve length. If you find a jacket that fits you perfectly in the shoulders, the body is something that you can alter really easy. You can bring your waist in a bit narrower than your shoulders. Everything will look nice and fitted. Yes. You don't want to look like a box, like a refrigerator. Pant fit, obviously make sure the waist fits, but the legs as well need to fit. Tailors can take the legs in and obviously they can change the length of the pants. People always were talking about what's called break or how bunched up your pants are at the bottom. I like mine a little bit cropped so I can show a bit of sock. If your pants touch just the top of your shoes, you're usually good to go. What you want to avoid though is having bellow and bellows of fabric just bunched up at the bottom yeah. of your feet. Point number two, button etiquette. We have so many different options for our suit jackets for men. It's the one, the two, the three buttons. What I'm wearing right now is a double-breasted, six buttons, but only two that you use. Most guys will have a two-button jacket. Highly, highly recommend to leave bottom buttons open. Do not do this. No. You don't want to look like that. Two buttons done up, and just leave the bottom one always unbuttoned. Even for your double-breasted suit, you still want to leave that last button, I'm done. That goes the same with the vest. Then for your three buttons, you do the middle one. As far as number of buttons are concerned, you can pretty much get away with any number of buttons nowadays. Yeah. But whatever you do, just leave the last button undone. That's true. Point number three, I always see people who leave the vent stitching closed. Suits come with stitching in the vents. You're supposed to cut that so they can freely open and flap. Same with the stitching oh, yes. in the pocket. The pocket should be open so you can actually use them. Your overcoat, your jackets, sometimes come with the label stitched to the sleeve. Take it out. Nobody wants to see that. And it's just a little tiny detail that can be easily taken care of and makes you look like you know what you're doing. Point number four, this is just a personal opinion, but don't over accessorize. It's like two, like two or three things maybe. Point number five, a lot of guys want to know how do I match my shoes with my suit, my belt, socks. How does that work? Socks match to your pants, belt matches to your shoes. Black belt, black shoes, brown belt, brown shoes. If you're wearing crazy socks, you can kind of coordinate with that with your outfit. That's one of the little details that you can really play around. Right? Yeah, exactly. Point number six, this is my pet peeve. If you're gonna wear no tie and just an unbuttoned top button on your dress shirt, just avoid a crew neck undershirt. It's okay to wear an undershirt, you can wear a v-neck just so you can't see it. If you want to undo your buttons, pick like something like an Oxford shirt, something that's a little thicker, so you yes. don't have to wear your undershirt. And at the end of the day, if you're gonna remember one thing from this video, it's... That's it. All of this is just opinion. There's no rules. Just do what you want to do. If you think it looks good, great. But remember, that's it. Fit, 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 fit. <laughs> Rule of thumb would be just. I have to take. Oh my god, so sorry. Jesus Christ. I was just casually <laughs> just taking off my pop skirt. I was like, I'm gonna put this back. <laughs> 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 Do that again. Do that again.